I think it has, uh, there's been a lot of international focus on the bridge because it's only for, uh, for bikes. I mean, that's something that is very uh, uncommon and uh, probably not seen before in, uh, in many countries. There is always, uh, especially in these days, a demand for iconic structures. And iconic structures sometimes have a tendency to be a little bit too much of everything. But I think our philosophy is to try to only have what is absolutely necessary. I think that the, the strength with the project is probably that it's not trying to be more than it actually is. Of course we have tried to do some of the elements as with the color and the light of the, at night and of course the alignment. I think that is the most uh, yeah, the most iconic element you could say or they have been lifted to, to uh, so the bridge have become an icon. And of course the, the function of the bridge is of course also something that's extremely important. I mean seen from a Danish point of view to make a bridge only for for, for bikes is, is probably not that extreme, but if you see it in a more international perspective, then it's uh, something that people not coming from Denmark, not knowing so much about bike culture, find uh, very interesting. The slenderness and all the elegance, you could say, is also something that actually come into mind when you, when you stand and look to the bridge. Because doing uh, visualizations and drawings, I mean, you still have a, a feeling that it, this will be something that, that's quite slender and nice, but when you really see it in, uh, in real life, you still get surprised on how thin it is and, and, and how light it actually looks like. And you can still be amazed that it actually are able to, to stay up there. By giving the, the bikes a more easier way to job, a more faster and a more safer way. I think that, that's something where we actually give something back to, uh, to the environment. I think it actually uh, fits quite well into uh, the culture of, of Copenhagen as a as I said, of course, at the moment, it's very uh, popular with bikes uh, and everywhere. So, of course, in that respect, I mean, it, it fits very well into Copenhagen. We're not afraid of saying, okay, it could have been something very dull and grey and everything else, but if we have to do it, then let's make something out of it and let's go, go all the way.